Well, 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 look who's back. I'm your gracious host, drummer boy 1980. You know my motto already. I don't make believe, I make believe for family. I'm your gracious host, hailing from the Carolinas, Columbia, South Carolina to be exact. Hope you had a good day today. If not, you know the old adage, ask yourself why and remember, happiness is an inside job and it will always be an internal affair. Well, family, we back again with none other than Tria, the crew season. Shout out to those guys over there for doing phenomenal work. I met Trail in ATL and I know. salute, but this here is a good showing. This is very entertaining. And you about to hear some things that will make your skin crawl and your hair stand up on the back of your neck, family. Let's go. It is, man. Make sure y'all tap that like button. Um, I think Kayla alluded to this. She said that a lot of men, especially in the manosphere, feel like women have unrealistic expectations. So we're going to get into it. Are women's expectations in a man unrealistic? Ill, we're going we're to start with you, bro. You start with me? Oh, ill. Yeah, which one are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, go go ahead, bro. All right, well, um, I think it's definitely, um, I think the women definitely have uh, unrealistic expectations because it's always coming down to money. I feel like it's kind of easier to attain a, a character change or a perspective change. That's really what men really require. We really just want you to look at something a little differently. That don't require a lot of effort. It may require some some discipline, but don't require too much of yourself. You can really stay, to, you can really be, it, it's free of charge. It's just a, a perspective change. Women want men to become a whole nother financial monster, regardless of the statistics, Regardless of the wealth gap, regardless of any concrete data, you have to become this six-figure, ambitious, Christian, former thug who got a 800 credit score, who love the Lord, uh, who gives to the homeless, tatted up in a blow her back out every night. Like some just some, some unrealistic creation in a laboratory. Men just want you to just, hey, baby, like I said in that video, don't wear that. Just don't say that. Oh, don't, don't, don't embarrass me in here. Don't, but please, you know, just stuff like that. And that seems to be very hard for women. But they can't fathom why you can't get a hundred thousand by Thursday. So I think women definitely in a whole nother world. Ms. B. Taylor, are women's expectations in a man realistic or not? You know, at first. I'm not going to play nice. Okay. No, I, I think that their expectations can be realistic. I think men are complaining because they can't. Why is it that, and I'm going to speak specifically to the black community. Why is it that black women are asked to be in poverty? Why is it that it's our responsibility to build y'all men up? to close the um, poverty gap. Like y'all need us to help build wealth. Y'all can't build it on y'all own. So we're tired of struggling with y'all. We're tired of putting our children in the hood because that's all you can afford and y'all can't level up to shit. So women are saying, no, I'm tired of fucking struggling with your broke ass. Oh, hold on, 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 hold they can have a softer life. If they want to level the fuck up, let them level up. And if they ain't going to be with no black men, go get a different man from a different race at this point. Fuck it. That's all I got to say. Now, after this one, I might make some enemies, but I'm prepared for the worst. Understand something. Whenever that you have smelt human remains, you never will forget that distinct odor. Because it is a distinct odor that you will never get out your mind. Now, I said that to say this. Where have I seen this type of venom before? Let me think. It's the same venom of Cynthia G. 
the degenerate, the base, the irredeemable, repugnant, vile, boorish, uncouth, cantankerous, ballhead, Cynthia G. She sound like a carbon copy of Cynthia G. So apparently she must be a disciple. And I don't make no bones about it. She said that she's not going to play nice, nor will I. Because she's speaking on black men as a whole. Now understand something. The type of man that you are attracting, don't project that broke dude off onto us because all of us ain't broke and I speak in defense of the black men I'm one of the vanguards huh you heard me I'm one of the vanguards I stand in defense for the black man but the minute you start grouping us all in together because we're not a monolith like black women is not a monolith you need to make the distinction see the difference and let me draw the distinction for you because we're going to talk. See, whenever it comes to black men, you can tell who is productive and who is not. And if a unproductive man approaches you and you accept, you the fool. Don't say black men, your choice, your taste. You have an acquired taste. Some of you love the taste of Pookas and Ray Rays. Go along with them. Labor them. Don't say, well, all oh, black. You casting a wide net over everybody. You understand? You can tell a productive man from a man that's unproductive. And that's clear. That's transparent. And if you can't tell the difference, well, shame on you. Now, watch this. Let's take the inverse. The black women Whenever you look at black women I can't tell a woman that have a PhD From a hood rat They all mesh together The women that's supposed to be educated Supposed to be the talented Tenth and so high and mighty Talking about bullshit Talk just like ghetto women From the hood And you can't even tell the difference Tats everywhere Cursing, belligerent Talking over men, challenging men, running up in men's face. You can't even tell the difference. And if I'm lying, somebody put it in the comment section. I know women with PhDs, with doctorates. And you can't tell they have a doctorate degree unless they told you. A hood chick and them are one and the same. You can't tell. Got babies out of wedlock everywhere. You can't tell. See, because you think that your degree means something. I can kill. I wouldn't give two cents for it. B. Taylor. I seen you on the Lapeef Network. And I kind of seen some things then. But I said, well, you know, I just need to get a good sample size first. This here told me all that I needed to know. Water six its own level, right? If you attracting that, don't put it on black men. Those are the choices you made. And if you can't make a better choice, don't blame nobody else. Take accountability for your actions. Can I oh, please yeah. say some of that, please? And I, I ain't yeah. got to talk for a minute. Just please let me respond to this. Go ahead. First of all, look how you talking. I ain't use no profanity. I'm just talking. The fact that you even discussing this matter with that type of tone says a lot about that. The, the I don't care. Hold on. I know. We know you don't care. Okay. So like I, hold on. Let me finish. Let, 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 let him finish. Let him finish. We never. You just made my point so clear. It's hilarious. Because you ain't mentioned nothing about no character. You ain't mentioned nothing about no standard. You ain't mentioned nothing about nothing but money. And that's your problem. Because you keep talking about money. But then you end up with men with money who just look at you as another number. So How would you, you don't know? make hold on, hold on. So you How don't make you know? no sense. Nobody, How no man, know? no, no man never ain't nobody even bring up nothing about no money. All you talking about is money. Why you feel like that I'm has nothing. To you? And first of all, and another thing, first of all, 
why does we have to talk? Why do we have to talk in such extremes? Why? Are they, why is it either he's a baller or I'm in the the ghetto? As if there's no. That's what we there. do here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold That's on. what we do here. They talking to each other. They talking to each other. Why is he talking to me? I didn't talk to say nothing that you had to say. Why are you so triggered? Why? Why are you so triggered? You're so triggered about me saying what I want to say. If that's what I want to say, let me curse. I mean, it just was classic. I'm just saying. Let me curse. You're not. You don't do that. And that's not. And that's why our stance is different. You don't do nothing for me in my life to tell me how to talk. You're not gonna tell me how to talk. You can talk how you want to talk. That's great. But you just proved our point that we go about character and you're about money. She wouldn't even let the man finish his statement. She kept trying to over talk to me. Now, remember, and I know what everybody going to say. Well, this is just the Internet. I am not like this in real life. So in other words, you are a fraud then, right? You faking the funk. This is a bad representation. Of a black woman sitting here over talking to man. The man can't even get his thoughts out. His he can't even finish. You running off at the mouth like diarrhea, cursing, you swearing. Your mouth is comparable to a New York sewer. And this is what y'all like, fellas. Let me talk to the guys for a minute. Now, if she do this. Before thousands, hundreds of thousands of people is going to see this clip here. I'm pretty quite sure. And this is what you like. This. If you get hooked up with it, don't blame nobody. We don't want to hurt your mouth either. Because you should know better. Anybody that's set up there with this kind of contempt for black men. Best thing to do it's to write them off. This is irredeemable. You heard me? Let me say it for the slow kids sitting in the back. This here is irredeemable. They ain't nothing that she can tell me. The Lord himself have to come down and tell me that she changed. What's so grand about you anyway? I say what I said. What is so grand about you anyway? To feel entitled like somebody got to take care of you. Ain't nobody is entitled or obligated or obliged to do anything for you. You have to prove yourself. See, what it is, is you dealing with the bottom feeders. Oh, God, you done got me started. I might as well walk on and see what the end going to be. You dealing with the bottom feeders, what we call low hanging fruit. And now you upset with your results. That's nobody's fault but the one looking in the mirror. Like Michael Jackson say, the man in the mirror. Well, look at yourself. You open your legs, you got attached, and he was no good. Oh, so you just not finding out he's no good. Give me a break. Women need to stop this mess. And let me take a different angle. Guys, you see this? This is the right hand of white supremacy on display. See, these are the type of women what they use that have this bitterness. They have this deep, malevolent energy about them. They want to see something happen. I'm telling y'all what I know. Let's run the list down. Sarah Lynn Davis. She's helping the establishment, right? And you see what happened? That was the police chief over Memphis. The woman that was over the Red Dogs in Atlanta. Ketanji Brown, the woman that just got elected to be on the Supreme Court that got sworn in, huh? Laura Lightfoot, the mayor of Chicago. See, that's the hand. That's the hand. I'm telling y'all what I know. I'm not telling you what somebody told. That's the hand of the establishment. Keisha Bottoms was the mayor of Atlanta, right? Huh? Yo, go home. And I can be here until 
20, 30, naming all of the women that have participated in their own demise because the thing that they don't understand, you can't go no further than your man because no other man wants you. And I heard her say, well, they can go get somebody else. Well, I pray you go, please. Don't let the door hit you in the back. Don't tear it long. Go ahead and go. And let's see how it play out. Let's see how it play out. I want to see. Prove us wrong because we saying that no other man is not going to put up with you for long. Because if you go to the white man, only thing that you're going to be doing is slave play and choking, calling you a nigga B. <laughs> we already know that. <laughs> Ask the pink pill. <laughs> Ask Christmas and Carolyn. Huh? Ask her. We all know what time it is. She had to come across the track. And any black dude that got with her, I'm eyeballing him. Because all of that nastiness and all that contempt that she used to spew out across the internet. And now she had to come back home. How is this woman going to represent you well? If this woman would do this in the front of all these people, what would she do behind closed doors? Because she is the type to argue with you because she want to win. So that father tells me she would do anything. She'll call the police on you. He hit me. This right here. This is the type right here. Because you know that she won't shut up and let him finish. This is the type. Cynthia G type. I just want to ask a question before you. I think you were going to OT. Okay, yeah. I, I have uh, a question for you, mm. if you're open. Of course. Okay. Was it something that she said that triggered you? In of response? course. I mean, the fact that just the whole tone of the conversation, it ain't about, it ain't about me. I don't care. I'm going to do me regardless. But I feel like we're up here. We represent a demographic. It's not just about me. That's why when I'm talking to y'all, I mean, regardless of how I personally feel, I'm not going to just say anything because I'm still talking to an aspect of my mother, an aspect of my sister, an aspect of my daughter. Regardless of how I feel about your view, you're still a black woman. So I'm not going to just say, well, these these fucking bitches don't fucking get it. So the fact that you just came over here and just went just totally just disregarded that it just showed it just spoke to why men are doing what they doing, because you don't have to pick every individual man to give respect. That's free. I don't have to like every woman. I don't got to like everything you stand for. But when I address women, I can get my point across and, and, and get my view across without be, without becoming speaking like disrespectful, like I'm talking down well, to somebody. You hold on, hold on. But I wasn't talking yeah. to you. And if I wanted it to say matter. it in that moment, how I wanted to say we it, heard I can say it like that. The whole world seen it. So you can hey, say true. Okay, and I don't care. 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 Should women stay out more cold to support what she just did to him? If we're talking about a woman's expectation, are women's expectations in a man realistic? Is that what a, a man would want? And so when we're asking our women's expectations in a man realistic, are y'all are, is that the type of woman that a man that has a hundred thousand dollars tall and wants a feminine cooperative woman? Is that what kind of woman that he would? Wait, 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 what did, wait, hold on. What did she? Hold on, hold on, B. Taylor. What did she do to him? Or she, or she, no, no, no. She didn't do nothing. No, no. To him. What, what did she do to him? You just said what she did to him. What did she do to him? So, so in all, most cultures, in white, Arab, Asian cultures, if a woman spoke like that, she'd already get removed from the table. It's our okay, culture. but that's not where we're at. I didn't finish. I didn't finish. It's I was obvious, you asked me a question. You asked me a question. We are the only race where the women try to coach their man how to talk to them while they disrespect them without the man have to say anything. Other women, other women don't get on panels. You don't see Asian women do this. Air women do this. No other race of women disrespects their men to their face or speaks in the manner they speak. They were removed remo from the table. So That's I personally disrespected y'all by talking you about disrespected no. Black no. No. Talking. No, no, I, I heard just, him and Samuel say women. I don't, don't want to hear it. Right. Like y'all laughing. Women are ugly and not eligible. Like we never said they were ugly. Y'all are talking about the ugly women. Y'all are talking about the ugly women. If I disrespect Kayla, I disrespect all the women on the panel. Nobody That's targeted the anybody personally. You I'm black men, y'all. She was speaking at large. Taylor, Taylor, wait. This, I think, I think what we do here on the cruise season, he gives all of us an opportunity to speak freely. And I think that's where we're missing, y'all, whether we agree or not. And so somebody comes at you personally and call, there's a lot of stuff I hear that I, I don't agree with. 
as B when it said that. But we all have an opinion, y'all. Remember where we are. No, y'all staying on code. Oh, oh, no, you want to get the last word. Y'all want to get the last word. My God from Zion. Let me go ahead and hit you like this. Ali, you were swinging for the fences, bro. You put me in the mind of Muhammad, the rope of dope. What he said was the gospel, nigga. You heard me? Who can find a fallacy? Who can find holes in that? In Arab culture, you think the women would be doing this? In Asian culture, you think the women would be doing this? Even in white culture, you think the women going to be doing it? They might be a few in white culture, but I'm going to tell you something. White men will take them camping and one of them come back. White men will take them on a boat trip and one of them will come back. A white man will kill you and the kids and kill himself. Arabs, you know the, what they do. Asians too beat the brakes off you. As a matter of fact, some African countries, the Caribbean, they know what time it is. But whenever they come here, they feel like they have some protection. Go check out the rule of thumb and see where that came from. But black American men don't beat their women. And you better be grateful that they don't beat you. That's probably why you got so much mouth. Because what do we have to do with some broke dude? I'm not showing no burden for no broke dude because I ain't broke. I live good. My wife live good. You ask my wife, how did I upgrade her? So I don't know what you talking about. Them broke niggas, what you talking about? That's a you problem. And I know guys like me and that got way more than what I got. And they with black women. So why can't you get one? Or maybe because your attitude in your mouth. Ain't no man on his square, his purpose driven. Go sit there and watch this woman up on a panel do this. And if he do do it, you not going to want it. Because simply, he's probably not going to have a backbone. Whenever you run across a man, a man is not afraid to tell you no. A baby, chill out or shut up when need be. Whenever you run across a man, he don't have no problem telling you no for sex. Oh, God, that's a new concept. That's a new concept to y'all. Like, I don't want none. I'm good. Huh? <sighs> Nigga, please. See, y'all, y'all, y'all don't even know a quarter of the game. Fellas, you have to learn how to tell your woman no sometime. Ooh. I'm getting into something that I can't get out of quickly. So I'm a back on out of that. Ladies, whenever you run across a man, you will definitely know it because the feel different. Something inside of you will just start going off. All the little bills will start going off up in your head. Your body will start responding and take that however you would like, such as it is. And she can't get one of these guys. That's why she's so upset and so belligerent. Who asked black women to help close the wealth gap? She just making up stuff, just lying, just fabricating on camera. Talking about living in the ghetto. What in the world is she talking about? Guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. You know what I do on this side. Hit the like button, hit the share button, comment family, all right? Hit the cash app, dollar sign, drama, 1980. And you also can support my channel by going to the Super Thanks located directly under the video family. And until next time, peace. And remember, there is more. Don't make no sense. Cynthia G. Wannabe. Huh?